Hey, we're outside St. Rock's Bar in East Austin and we're going to a crawfish boil. It is a Louisiana Cajun tradition that dates back centuries. They call them crayfish, crawfish, mud bugs. They basically look like teeny tiny little lobsters. I'm really excited. I've never done this before. Wish me luck. rig you got up here? Uh, it's like your own personal thing? Well, this is a crawfish cooker that we got. Uh, they usually make them uh, in South Louisiana. We got ours from East Texas. You call this the jet engine? Is that what we're hearing right now? Yeah, that's exactly what we're hearing right now. You're from you're from New Orleans, right? I am from New Orleans. Right? In New Orleans, right now on Good Friday, I'm sure there's a lot of crawfish boils going on. This is one of those things, there's a social aspect behind it. It's invite the neighbors, it's do it in your driveway. Okay, so it's kind of like it's kind of like the Louisiana equivalent of like barbecuing outside sure. in the yard. Sure. As far as like flavor goes, what's the difference between uh, a crayfish and, and a different crustacean? So the crawfish is it's you know it's it's similar a little bit to a lobster, a little bit to a shrimp. It's not as firm as say a lobster. It's a smaller, more delicate meat. Okay. They farm crawfish a lot of the times. Some of the crawfish you'll get will be wild caught. A lot of times they'll farm them. What they usually use is uh, like rice fields when they harvest the rice, mm -hmm. they'll dump the crawfish in. The crawfish will eat up all the, the rest of the unused crop. Oh, that's so interesting. So there's a sustainability issue there as well. So that they can harvest those crawfish. And you know, that's why they call them mud bugs. They kind of live in the, in the swamp and in the mud. And is that what they do in the, uh, uh, Correct me, my pronunciation. The Atchafalaya Basin is that? Yeah. So that's that you know, they, that's going to be that area around Lafayette, Crowley. All of that area produces crawfish. All right. Well, I'll let you get to work. I'm sorry, my friend, but I'm going to eat you. This is sort of the mythology, the Cajun mythology of the crawfish, is that they're actually tiny lobsters and that uh, the Acadians, who are the Cajuns, were exiled from Nova Scotia in the 1700s and the, the lobsters missed them so much that they traveled from Nova Scotia down to Louisiana to be with the Cajuns and that over the long and treacherous journey, they shrunk in size until they became this, the tiny little creatures that they are today. So when I was a very uh, small child, my parents brought, they were having a dinner party and they brought lobsters back, live lobsters, and they were gonna cook them. So I went in, I saw the lobsters moving around and I was like, what are you gonna do with these? And when they told me that they were gonna throw them in a pot of boiling water and boil them alive, I had a fit. I started screaming, I started crying and throwing things and rolling around on the floor. I was probably five, six years old and I wouldn't shut up. And I threw such a fit that my parents, they, they, they decided not to eat the lobster. This for me is a little tinge of sadness, to be honest with you, these little lobsters that just got boiled alive, you know. I mean, it's not gonna stop me from eating all this, but I cannot wait. Good. Can't wait. Here we go. So this is what we're gonna do. Basically, we're gonna get get that nice piece of tail meat, and then just kind of squeeze the end and suck that out. And then, my understanding is this is optional, but then you can suck the head. The seasonings are fantastic. You know, if you've ever had something like Old Bay, you know what that tastes like, but a lot of cayenne pepper, super garlicky, it's very salty. The tail is nice, tender meat. Sucking out the guts, sucking out the soup is a little bit more of an intense sensation. It's a little slimy. It's, uh, it's certainly much more fishy. So you doing all oh, right? hey, ma'am. Yeah, please, have a seat. All right. <clears throat> so have you figured out how to eat these things? Yeah, tell me everything. Uh, 
tell me everything I'm doing wrong. So, I'm just... <laughs> so this is how I eat it. You're gonna break the head off, and you end up with the tail. A lot of people suck the heads, you can, you don't have to. Uh, I, I, it's just a bunch of seasons. Right. And then what I do is I squeeze this part, and then pinch out the meat. And there you go. You got it? I got it. Sweet. And then as far as the claws go, people eat the, the claws, meat. You know, there's claw meat in there. It's a little tougher to get out, but you got to slowly peel it out. Mm -hmm. And it'll come out like a crab. There we go. It's a nice little piece right there. It's more just like about the experience, right? Sure, sure. So, it's, you know, it's... It's, uh, it's like a fun thing to do. You know, you're not going to sit by yourself and eat, eat crawfish. Eat, you know, boil a sack of crawfish and eat them by yourself. Right. You know, it's a, it's invite invite a group of friends over, hopefully get some cold beers and, and have that. Yeah, because it's a thing where, like, you know, if you really just... If you were starving and really just wanted to eat meat... <laughs> right. Like, there's an easier way to get oh, meat, yeah, yeah. right? There's, it's, you know, there's a lot of work there for very little... <laughs> Very little meat in those tails. Yeah, it's more just like sort of this tactile experience of like right. picking things apart and getting little sure. bits out and like yeah. Well, this is great, man. This has been a really fun, fun experience. Glad you guys have come by. Hey, thanks for coming out to this crawfish boil at St. Rocks in East Austin. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime. And if you would like to watch more, please click here. This is the smokehouse, is that right? Yeah, this is it. I heard there's only like one or two in the city. 